All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are just taking a quick look at V Chain here and as we can see, looking like right now we are fully back testing and chilling inside of this range that we were talking about before. Obviously, I've been saying for literally weeks now that I am trading this range that V Chain is in until we see it break in either direction. Right now, Bitcoin's looking very, very nice indeed. Isn't it? I think it's up at around 28.2k at the time of recording this video, so absolutely ridiculous to see to be fair. And as we can quite clearly tell here for VeChain, looking like it has, you know, it's been matching the volatility of Bitcoin recently. We haven't really got the pump that Bitcoin's been seeing recently, but I think altcoins are probably going to follow suit once Bitcoin does start to go sideways a little bit and go into a bit of a crab market. Once it stops pumping, probably have a retracement and a bit of sideways action. And then after that, I do think VeChain will probably come in and have a little bit of a move to the upside as well, along with the other cryptos that we look at, Veracity, for example. Right now, though, we are looking at VeChain, and as we can see, we've obviously come back inside of this range again. Been talking about this literally for so long now, it's unbelievable. This range here that we have been seeing basically since May last year. You know, highs, lows, highs, lows again. We get the breakdown with the, you know, the coiling descending wedge. An absolutely, you know, typical reversal pattern really. You know, with this overextension down through the lows as well, you'd probably expect this to pick up fairly soon, and it did. You can see here, big run up back up to resistance rejection but we came back inside the range i took a long position here once we back tested the range low as support got a very very nice trade in here where i took my profits out about this area here at this previous swing high we've got the slight overextension didn't we heading up into that 023 fibonacci but obviously we lost support and then came all the way back down here with bitcoin having a little bit of a rollover in regards to you know all that fud that we saw in the wider markets along with silvergate bank etc we got an overextension of the low here, so I did get stopped out on a long position at the bottom of the range here. But we've come back inside the range again and back tested it here. And I did enter another long position at the range low because I did say that this looks like it's probably going to get back tested. Now we've broke back inside the range. I would be trading it as such. And you can see here, my trade is currently in quite a decent amount of profit here. Basically with my swing, with my uh, stop loss just down here at this previous swing low area of liquidity. And you can see here now, looking like we are heading back up towards the middle of the range, especially with Bitcoin looking quite bullish as well. I'm fairly confident that this is probably going to reach at least halfway up the range as, you know, once you do retest support in ranges, you do tend to see yourself coming back across the range over a period of time. You can see here, obviously, we made our range for support and resistance here. Long positions here, you would have got, you know, basically took your profit here, got filled. Short position here, this would have literally got filled within like a, a week. On the daily time frame here you can see here you took a long position here you would have come back up and got filled and then obviously we did lose the range low there so you would have obviously waited and see what saw what would happen and then when we came back inside the range again i took another position came up got filled all of these you know it was that three out of four successful trades you know you could have took a long position here short position here long position here long position here they're actually all successful trades provided that your stop loss was nice and loose I like to keep my stop loss a bit more loose because it does stop me getting stopped out from trades unnecessarily most of the time. You can see here, obviously, on this trade here, I did get stopped out because we did have that liquidity grab underneath the range. But we've come back inside and now looking for four out of five trades to be successful on that range there. Basically coming back up to the middle of the range again. So that is really all I'm looking at for VeChain right now, guys. Obviously, Bitcoin looking very, very strong indeed. And with VeChain, we are just essentially waiting for a little bit more upside with the altcoins which will probably start to pump in my opinion once we do start to see bitcoin slowing down right now bitcoin looking very very strong indeed so that is it for today guys my analysis thank you very much for watching indeed as i always say please do like and subscribe and if you do want to support the channel please do consider becoming a youtube member by clicking the join button down below you'll get access to our private discord where i'm hanging out most days with other investors so if you do want to get a bit of an edge on the markets and support the channel that would be a great way to do so and i'll see you in the next video